What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So it's been a while. I have two boxes worth of books that I need to study through for the course that I'm doing. So I'm kind of in a pinch, but today I have some good news when it comes to software updates because watchOS just got an update. If we go into the settings and then go to the software update page, you can see we have watchOS 10.5. This is actually the release candidate version or the RC version and you can see here on my Apple Watch Ultra, this comes in at exactly 473 megabytes. I was updating from watchOS 10.5 beta 4. So if you're coming from a similar update or you have a similar device, expect the update size to be something like this. Now this update does introduce a few minor improvements, but before we get to that, I would like to show you some other updates that came out alongside this. So you can see we have iOS 17.5 RC, we have iPadOS 17.5 RC, but for some reason, no macOS 14.5. RC, it's delayed in a way. And then we have tvOS 17.5 RC, and most of these updates that you see here, like watchOS 10.5 RC, this is the video for that. I do cover here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech. So if you are interested and you want to know what's contained in this update, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, let me finish updating this device and then we'll get to see what are the new software changes and new features and changes that it has to offer. Our device is now up to date. If we put down the notification, you can see that this is now current. We are on watchOS 10.5, the release candidate version. Not only that, I just hit a full, you know, some of my movement go. I have to say that one of the things that I don't really like when it comes to watchOS is the fact that even though your watch is on like 95% or on 100%, I still have to connect my watch to a charger in order to do the actual install for watchOS. I've sent this to Apple through the feedback assistant app, but hopefully with enough people, this is something we might be able to see change in the future, maybe for devices that have a good enough charge, maybe 80% and above and battery health that is 80% and higher as well. Into the device here, if we go into settings, go to general and then go to where it says about here, you can see the new build number that we have It's 21T575. So this depicts something that's pretty close to a final. And now in terms of the new features and changes that this update has to offer, the first one that I would like to show you here, if we hold this and then go all the way to the new watch face selector right there and then select it here you can see some of the new watch faces that we got so you notice we have this new pride radiance now if we go here we can add it to the face and right now you can see the different customizations that we have you have this color that you can change this is like color one color two color three color four five okay five different colors that you can choose from for me Let's see which one I like. I think this one color three looks pretty sick. This purple, I might have to switch up my band for a purple one, but you can see how it looks. Let's see what other things we can customize besides the color. So for now, it just seems like it's the color, no complications. And so when you put your watch to sleep, it just goes, let's go like this. And then when you raise it up, it glows, you know, going against the background that you see here. Now, because this is a new watch face that's here and you can see here, if you are updated to the latest iOS version, which is iOS 17.5 RC that I had to update my device to in order to see some of these new wallpapers and screen savers that are here, you can see here, under this pride section, you have the same different colors. So one, two, three, four, about five different colors as well. And you can see if you select this purple one, this is how it looks. It's pretty good and goes hand in hand with the Apple Watch, but it doesn't also end there because if you go to the Apple Newsroom article right here and read about this when Apple released this, 
you can see they also told us that this was going to come alongside a new watch band that you can see right there and this watch band is going to be costing you 99 dollars to go along with the new watch face that came here keep in mind that if you have different apple devices such as ipads on ipad os you'll get this new wallpaper and as i've shown you on the iphone with the latest ios it's now available now something that this update fixes is an issue that has to do with stock it that could cause an issue when clicked and basically would crash but that has been resolved in the background so you don't have to worry about that also something that i've seen across different forums about this update is that when it comes to battery health even though i haven't been testing it vigorously on uh, my apple watch ultra one for this exact device the apple watch ultra one battery health seems to be pretty good you can see here on my device if i'm go to go to my battery health right here you can see it's so still on 96 percent so it's holding up pretty good but battery life on different devices seems to be holding up pretty good i've seen the apple watch series 9 and the apple watch ultra one reports that this device is good when it comes to battery health so since i'm now testing it going forward until the final release if there is a change then maybe i'll let you know or make a video on it now if you didn't know today apple held the apple let loose event for may 2024 and they released all these new products so we got a new ipad air we also got a brand new the thinnest product that apple has ever made that's thinner than the ipod nano that's the ipad pro we also got a new magic keyboard we got an apple pencil pro and the regular ipad has been reduced in price by a hundred dollars so that was the apple event for today in case you missed it and then the last thing i wanted to highlight for you here is that when this update comes out officially to the general public and to everyone there's going to be apple security releases so keep an eye out on this page when it comes to watch os 10.5 and you get to see what it is exactly that apple is trying to patch but other than that one thing that i do want to highlight is when you can expect this watch os 10.5 update to come out officially for everyone we've been on a weekly cycle for some time now and i would say look forward to this update next week monday or tuesday that will be may 13 or 14 and i feel like this version that we have here might be the official release that's going to come out next week because we rarely get rc versions number two and that only happens if there's a serious issue with the rc version one that came out today so i would put my money on may 13 and 14 for this update to come out officially to everyone and if you're trying to buy the new watch band that we saw and try it out with the new watch face apple said that that's going to be available on may 22nd so watchOS 10.6 will be the next beta and that's going to come out at the same time you know and remain in beta while we get the new watchOS 11 betas as well and I'll be covering those two here on the channel and going to you know the latest iOS version as well so if that's something that you are interested in then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out so that's the update for you guys I'll keep an eye on it and I'll monitor how my battery health and overall device performance holds up and if anything changes i'll let you know peace